Hello and welcome to the Patreon exclusive edition of Black, White, and Red All Over. I'm Victor Dandridge. Ryan Seymour. And we are here to spizz oil one of the best books I've read in a long time. Yeah. Death of Glory number one. Uh, Image Comics, mm -hmm. Rick Remender, Bengal, 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 Bengal. I don't know. Some. Either way, a maze. Um, so good. So good. So good. Because this is a new series, mm -hmm. and there's not like a whole lot of precursor that we can kind of be like, oh, well, this is yeah. the world that we're in. Like, you just kind of have to jump into this yeah. one. We don't really know these characters, and a lot of, as we're reading, we're making assumptions right? just based on what's happening. Exactly. Yeah. Like, we're hoping that we're right, um, but we really have no idea. We have no idea. No idea whatsoever. Um, all right, so we start off two of the bumbliest guys yes. working the, the, the late shift yeah. at... Burger Boss. Yeah, I was going to say, like, the, the humdrum yeah. of burger joints. Yeah. Um, we're in Yuma, Arizona, right? Setting. Boom. Um, first things first. Like, this has, like, an anime-ish Yeah, it, it. it really does, which makes me, like, if this were done as an anime. <sighs> Man. It'd be I'm amazing. So sick. Um, wait, before you turn, I need to address the fact mm -hmm. that the phrase, dine in my alley was used yeah which is which is weird because i always thought it was tongue punch your fart box it's not saying that it's not but dine in my alley was such a at first i was like um um really yeah really sorry let us set the stage so these two bumbling guys yeah are aiming to clean up close out yeah for the night right one of them specifically is like dude i'm really trying to bang out of here because i got a date yeah, with Su my girl yeah Susie. Yeah. Susie seems nice. Susie does seem nice. Uh, who does it behind the dog and trumpet? Uh, that's a mm -hmm. Shakespeare in love joke. Uh, <laughs> so, dude is like, other dude's like, Susie works down at the Hojo's? Yeah. You know, if you're quoting Howard Johnson's yeah. as some sort of work reference, mm, there leery. probably was some, some dining in the alley. <laughs> <laughs> um, dude is, he's so raw. Uh, yeah. He's like, you, you never slept with Susie. Don't say you're not taking my girl. He was like, you're right. I wouldn't. The, the I best would part is the mustache. It's such a dirty one. It's it, just, yeah. yeah. It looks like somebody who has at one time had his mm -hmm. balloon mm -hmm. knot moistened <laughs> behind a car. Like, it's just. Oh, oh, uh, oh but good times. Um, so this dude walks in. <laughs> very mysterious guy. Looks a little... He's weird. Yeah. You know, he's a little like, pale. Like Constantini? Very Constantini. He's yeah. got the, the whole trench coat, the, yeah. the light hair. Uh, very piercing eyes. Yes. They're, they're greenish, but still. Um, dude is like, you know, you open, they're like, yeah, what can I get for you? I mean, they're literally minutes away from closing. Yeah. Dude says, I want 123 cheeseburgers. And I was like, he is, he's just messing with them, right? Obviously. Because nobody needs nobody 120. needs 123 cheeseburgers. Yeah. Like not even what? at White Castle or Crystal if you're from the South. Oh, good call, yeah. good good call. Um, no one does that. Yeah. Okay, that's not even a thing. Obviously, it's a joke. Yeah. Candy camera, punked, pick one. But you don't really need that. Yeah. Like what? Come on. Um, dude is totally like, no, that's like, we're closing in three minutes. We'll cook you a couple if you want them. Right. 123. That's not happening. Yeah. Dude is like, look, it's not a thing. Yeah. I need you guys to, you said you're open. I want, uh, this is what I want. This is yeah. my order. I want 123 cheeseburgers. Yeah. Now, maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. But if homie had produced the money. That might have been. A to show us sincerity. Yeah. You know, straight up move of sincerity. Maybe, hey, I'm dead serious. Here's the cash. Yeah. This is what I need. Yeah. Maybe. Stay open, you know, stay open a little longer. I'll front you, like, I'll pay for your date tonight. Yeah. Give me, give me a little something. Yeah. No? Mm -hmm. Dude is obviously of a ilk, mm -hmm. of a caliber. Yeah. Um, now, we didn't, like, quite realize before, but yeah. these two guys aren't the only guys yeah. in the shop. There's another dude that's yeah. actually, like, eating. Yeah, just sitting there eating. At the time. And they seem to know him. He's a yeah. buddy, which makes sense. You know, you let your buddy stick around for a while, even though you're kind of... Yeah. You know, trying to clean up or whatever. Um, dude looks a little like he might be about that life a little bit. And he fits in with the other two. Yes, yes, he does. Yes, Definitely. he does quite well. Um, 
dude stops steps up and is like, uh, why are you why are you giving my guys a hard time? Like, yeah. what is, dude? Come on, get out of here! Like, don't even yeah. do this. Um, dude is trying to be like, hey, listen, I just want 123 cheeseburgers. That's all I want. Because he's not making a scene. He's, he's not. Trying. He's like, like, look at that face. Like, he's so calm right here. Yeah. It's not even a thing. Yeah. He doesn't break. Yeah. Until. Ogre over here decides that he's going to grab homie by the arm. Yeah. And that's when mistakes are made. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I... Unbeknownst to anyone, homie is packing a Mr. Free special. Liquid nitrogen. Pulls it out, connected to a hose, sprays homie in the face. Yeah. Now, you've seen Terminator 2. Yeah. That's liquid nitrogen. Yeah. At the end, where you know liquid metal polyolio gets splashed on him, and he starts freezing and breaking apart. Yeah. That's kind of like this. Yeah. Oh, so what a suck way to die, right? Like, like what kind of sick psychopath is like? <laughs> I'm gonna use liquid nitrogen. That is gonna be my weapon of choice. I mean, because like it's just as dangerous to keep that on you. Yeah. Like that's you are putting yourself in danger. In order to be able to potentially kill others. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, oh, so will... the first big dude, he falls apart. Yeah, gets hit in the face. Yeah, that's a bad thing. Crustash back alley <laughs> wham bammer. He goes, goes for, the, for phone. the phone. That was his mistake. Yeah. Um, what's He's... messed up is apparently this thing's got some range on it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, dude gets him forearms down. Yeah. I so... mean, from the elbows. And... Throws off. And then when he shoves the gun in the dude's mouth and sets it off, that's messed up. That is messed up. Like, that is haunting. Chilled. Chilled. Um, And yet, still, my man, just as calm as he wants to be, do I need to repeat that order? Just get the man his cheeseburgers. Please, for the love of God. He only left you alive so that there was somebody available to finish the order. Yeah. Clearly. Just want my cheeseburgers. That's all I want. Please. That's all before the credits. Yeah. Like, that's that's an intro, okay? Yeah. Let's just keep that 100. Yeah. That's an intro. Yeah. And we turn the page, and we are brought into the world of Glory. Yeah. She's our title character, um, or our main protagonist, we'll say. Yeah. Um, Greasehead works at a... You know, rough and tumble look, looking mechanic shop. Yeah. She's, you know, slugging junk, about to rebuild a car, reinforce yeah. it, you know, add on to some stuff. Yeah. Red's Happy Place, which I think is adorable. It is That's a great name. Super sweet. Um, and she's kind of setting up this world for us. Yeah. That um, where she comes from, you know, she's a little yeah. girl. This guy, Red, who has unofficially, officially kind of adopted yeah, her. her. Taken her in. Taken her in for her whole life. Taught her how to do all this cool stuff. Taught yeah. her how to be a grease monkey. How to be independent. How not to yeah. not to get trapped in the the, the trappings and the, the system. The, yeah, like, because literally what, jump off the grid yeah. and be your own person. And he, he's right. Once you get in, you really can't get out. That's right. That's absolutely right. Um, not that I know. I'm just saying it just makes sense. Um, <clears throat> so... She like we get this whole impression of yeah. her life story over the course of like three pages. Yeah, we get a solid understanding of yeah. who she is, what she's going through, uh, and her yeah. excellent taste in cars. Oh my gosh! Yeah, um, you've got her kind of talking to herself about right? different things that Red has said. Uh, you got you see her workshop. Uh, you see that she's carrying a, the, the quarter panel of a car, mm-hmm. and you also see the Nicorette gun. Yes, which is. It's well, a statement. It, yeah. It's a statement. Obviously, she's she's got a vice. Yeah. She's working on changing. Yeah. It says a lot. It says a whole lot. Um, she's making this recording, basically giving her, I mean, pseudo last will and testament. Yeah. Um, or instructions to family members. Yeah. As to what she's about to try to do. Yeah. And the reasoning and rationale for all of this is very simple. Red, the her, you know, patriarchal benefactor, yeah. has cancer. Yeah. He's and dying. And... Because of his, you know, long terms of being outside of, you know, yeah. being off the grid and not being a normal, you know, dredge of society type person, you know, he's... Yeah. He can't get that health care. He doesn't have it. He doesn't even have a, a social security number anymore. Yeah. Like, he ditched that. Yeah. You know how metal you have to be to ditch your social security number? Yeah. Like, 
you're just gone. Like, like you're a ghost. At that don't point. exist. Yeah, you literally don't exist. Um, she's doing her best to take care of him, but yeah. they've run out of money. Yeah, and where do you go? What do, what what do you do in that situation? It, it, you're you're it's for all. Basically, your father is dying from right. cancer. Right. And what do you do? Like you're going to do anything in your power. Anything and everything. Yeah. Anything and everything. And I love this moment. Okay, so she's in the tub, mm-hmm. right? Now, obviously this looks beautiful, but that's not the reason why <laughs> I like this so much. Yeah. Um, this is a very painful experience here. Yeah. They are reporting on the, the, the crime at the Burger Boss. Yeah. And she's listening to it um, while the TV's in the other room. Yeah. And she's kind of making the determination. Yeah. Like, it's like she's she's building up herself to go through with the decision that yeah she's kind of already set in motion. Yeah, the last chance to bail. Right. And this is this is what desperation looks like. This yeah. is when, you know, you've given your all and you find a way to dig deep and find just a little bit more. Yeah. Um, to the point where she literally upchucks yeah. the last bit of resistance. Yeah. Yeah. Like at all. And what's crazy is like the coloring. The yeah. coloring is what gets this. Yeah. Not of the upchuck. That's weird. Yeah. Um, but it's like the pale. Yeah, blue. she's like super pale. Yeah. But once she almost gets to a point where she accepts that that's exactly what she's going to do. Yeah. Color starts to come back. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's harsh, but yeah. this is real. Um, I love it. She is making this decision yeah. to, you know, go for broke and yeah. figure out a way to save him. Yeah. Um, I love, she openly says, it. I've got a plan, Red. You won't like it. Yeah. But it's my choice. Yeah. And I feel like that's one of those things where it's almost like a Wolverine, uh, Kitty Pride kind of conversation yeah. where, you know, she hits him back with some logic of something that he would say. And he's just like, well, yeah. I mean, you're right. What I would say. You're absolutely right. Yeah. I, I would definitely have said that. Um, oh, man. That is such a cool, cool splash page. It that, is. And it's, it's just so. It's it's simple and not all at the yeah. same time. Uh, it's pulling from a worm's eye view, uh, which means that we're exalting her, the car, yeah. of course. Um, damn, it's a pretty ride. Yeah, yeah it really is. I um, wonder who chose that. I don't know. Like, was that Remender? Was that Bengal? I'll bet, I'll bet Remender is the type of writer that he would totally have put that in there. Yeah, like, absolutely. Um, I love her race fit. Like, her yeah. racing fit, her driving fit is so cool. Yeah. I really, really like it. Yeah. Um, it's I would simple. totally see somebody wear that. Yeah. Cosplay that all day. Yeah. Um, she goes to Rowdy Roosters. Um, nice little hole-in-the-wall diner type spot, yeah. bar, place. Um, she breaks it down. Yeah. Teamsters, truckers, bikers, and drifters. Yeah. It's a bunch of people, a family without the genetic connection. That's right. That's right. Um, folks who have been brought together like the Avengers on a day unlike any other. Yeah. Um, and they're they're doing their due diligence to yeah. to be family, like yeah. for real, being like, hey, yeah. how's Red? What's going on? Yeah. And she kind of gives them the quick rundown of, hey, listen, I'm gonna go try to do some things. Yeah. I can't tell you what it is. Yeah. But if you don't hear from me sh- soon, listen to this recording. Yeah. Give me a couple days. If you don't hear from me, check this out. And they're 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 tough people, so they don't they don't question it. No. No. Okay. You gotta and do what you gotta Red, do. Got you. Yeah. You know, while while I'm gone, take care of Red. Yeah. Done. Not a problem. I'm on it. Um, it's 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 beautiful. Yeah. Uh, I love this this little drop here. Uh, yeah. Of your son of a bitch ex husband. Such a smooth like throw in. Yeah. To set up the segue. Yeah. So perfect. At some point he's gonna factor in. Right. And like, see, we're still looking at her as like just the pristine protagonist mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we don't know we don't we don't you made that point on the on the free show um that we are introduced to somebody almost yep. through a propagandist sort of model yeah where we're siding with them we have no idea that they're not bad people yeah I have no idea whatsoever um which i think is pretty interesting as a concept for this story yeah. um especially as we move over yes and we go to this very lavish looking spot yeah um I like mean, Marvel? fancy cars, marble, yeah, yeah, marble desk. This dude has money. He's got a yeah. freaking bear laid out yeah. on the floor. And 
some some cutie patootie sitting on the couch. Yeah, kind of. You know, doing something. I don't yeah, know. you don't. You don't even want to know. Yeah. Um, but dude is making a deal, right? Yeah. He's got a police escort. Yeah. Do you know how hardcore of a bad guy you have to be to already like openly involve the cops? Yeah. Like, that's next level. Right. No fear. Yeah. You know what you're doing. Um, he's clearly making a deal with some dude that knows how to cut up some meat. It, yes, Korean Joe. Yeah, that's what his name is. I don't, eh, wouldn't mess with a dude that, yeah, you know. It's, uh, so, he, so, he, so he does organized crime right? and he has a butcher shop. So I, hmm. I would probably steer clear. Very steer clear type because if you, if he needs to get rid of you, he, he can. I feel like he could. Like, in the worst way possible, yeah. by feeding you to your family. Movie. And they're like, this is delicious. What sort of sushi is it? Like, that's <laughs> yeah, horrid, but true. Yeah. Like when Cartman made that one kid eat, eat his parents and, and then Radiohead made fun of him. That's terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> I laughed so hard. I bet you did. did. I'll bet you did. So bad. Um, all right, so what I love is dude levels out a straight-up threat to the sheriff. He's like, look. There's millions of dollars in here. Yeah. Enough for you to kind of consider doing something dumb. I'm not threatening you, though. Yeah. I'm not the problem. Yeah. I'm not the solution. Korean Joe yeah. is the one that you don't want to mess with. Yeah. Like, I'm not even... Like, that's how sweet this is. He's yeah. like, look, you might think that there's enough money in here for you to start over. Yeah. And there might be. But not from him. Yeah. For me? Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. I got nothing. Yeah. But that dude... Korean Joe... Don't do it. Don't don't do it. Just don't don't do it. Um, this is a great moment too. Like you, we've seen corrupt cops yeah. before. We've yeah. seen that that moment. Um, the, the notion of the the partner being like, "Hey, you know what we should do? Yeah, we should do this." And the old guy's like, "No, we no. should not do this." When the dude is named Korean Joe and he owns a butcher shop, let's not. Yeah, let's not. Um, here it goes, yeah. like, the story ramps up to 10. Yeah. So very quickly. Yeah. Because um, they're having this little argument of, you know, well, we should take money. No, we shouldn't take money. We should take money. We shouldn't take yeah. money. All of a sudden, you, here's that break. Yeah. Because you've got millions of dollars sitting there. Right. Opportunities. And then, boom. 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 Car smashes into him. Yeah. Bam. You realize it's freaking glory. Yeah. She's chasing these dudes. Yeah. They're in a police car. Automatically, you're on the wrong side of the law. Yeah. Doesn't matter what this, the semantics are of all these dirty cops. Yeah. All I have to do is make a radio call. You're being chased. Yeah. It's a problem. Yeah. It's an absolute problem. Um, they're going hard at her, leaning out their car window, yeah. shooting at her. Ping, 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 yeah. Ping, ping, and she, in that car that she was working on earlier now has bulletproof glass. Uh, it's got reinforced armor. It's this thing is a beast. Her car is death proof. Yeah. Like that's yeah. so yeah. freaking awesome. Death Proof is my movie. I love that freaking movie. Oh, yeah. Um, they're, they're riding around on this, like, plateau road, um, dodging cars. I mean, this is a legit car chase. Yeah. In comic book yeah. form. This yeah. is epic. Um, you see the car, like, reeling over to yeah. the side. It's so freaking good. Um, they think they lost her. Yeah. And then the, the, the younger cop mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is just, like, he slips. I don't yeah. think he's supposed to know the name Korean Joe. He's not. He's not. He absolutely yeah. has been sneaking and listening to stuff that was beyond his pay grade. Yeah. You are the, you are the underling to the underboss. Yeah. Don't, don't go dropping names, dude. Like, yeah. that's not playing your position. Yeah. And dude is, like, legit calling him out. Like, wait, why do you even know who this is? Wh yeah. What? What? Yeah. What? Because that makes his life more difficult. Exactly. And before he can chew his ass out even more, bam. Boom! Here comes Glory back with a vengeance. Yeah. Dang near flips their car. Boom, yeah. boom, boom. Goes for extra hardcore. Yeah. Dudes are hurt. Yeah. Like, sheriff guys are, are busted up. And the young dude is committed to his plan I mean, of shout out. running with that money. Shout out to him, you know? I mean, I give it to him. He's got a plan. Uh, it's a dumb plan. It's dumb. But, but he's got a plan. Yeah. Uh, he tries to run, falls. She's there. She's yeah. got a gun on him. It's like, hand it over slowly. It doesn't even have to be a thing. Yeah. Just give it here. It's fine. Yeah. Dude is still trying to argue, like, hey, listen, if you take this, we're all dead. Yeah. She's like, whatevs. Yeah, we kind of already are. Right. 
Um, on her way back to her car, the unthinkable, she gets shot in the freaking back. Yeah. What? Yeah. Old dude is not giving up. No. No. That he is understands. Yeah. He's like, that money has to get to get to Joe. It's got to get to Joe. That's or it. else. Um, she takes off. They're running through, like, what is like a an abandoned? Yeah. Sort of like, I don't know, plane yeah, yard or something yeah. like that. I mean, there's all kinds of vehicles. There's planes. There's military choppers. Yeah. Like, but it doesn't look like it's in use. Yeah. So it's like some kind of junkyard or something. Yeah. Not a place you want to be at night because you know bad people do bad things. Super there. bad things. Super, super duper bad things. Um, she's trying to make a run for it. Sheriff is going at her with what? An AR-15? It, what is that? Something. Like, yeah. Some assault rifle. He yeah. is dropping caps at her. But what's funny is if you are paying attention, back on page two, there's a beautiful yeah. semi truck here. Yeah. Uh, now, there are other vehicles, but you don't don't necessarily pay attention yeah. to it. But that same semi-truck is sitting over here yeah. at this place. Yeah. Her own Kentucky mm. slices. Right. From a mm. butcher shop. Hmm. Could that be Korean Joe? I don't that. know. I don't know. So as she's running, all of a sudden, somebody wearing a very dapper, double-breasted yeah. trench coat steps out. And delivers boom! the people's elbow. Oh my god, yeah. hardcore. Like it ain't no thing. Yeah. Goes for it. Um super mean elbow elbow. Yeah. Knocks Glory back. Yeah. It's the dude from the diner. Or and from the burger shop. And he's still calm. Super calm. Made some bad choices tonight. Very calm. Maybe he knows what's in the briefcase. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't. Yeah. Doesn't matter. He's doing a thing. She draws on it, right? And is like, look. Just put it down. Don't don't make me do yeah. this. Dude is still calm. He's like, look, you don't want to do this. Yeah. I can tell by the way you're holding my gun. You're not a killer. You're not. Like, this ain't you. Yeah. You don't want this life. Um, he takes his right foot and puts it across her face. Yeah. Dude is obviously an equal rights person. He's not like, He's, hey, like, you're a lady. I have to I be some gentle with you. you. Which is more sexist. Right. Are you hitting you or not hitting you? I don't know. Well, no, he makes a decision. Because yeah. first he's already elbowed her. And I'll give him that one because he you was coming know. around a corner. Could have been anybody. Yeah. Boom. He clearly can see there's a lady here. Yeah. This time, yeah. Not a question. Pay out. Kick to the face. Makes her drop her gun. Yeah. But she's still got a lot of fight in her. Yeah. She goes for the briefcase yeah. and he's on. And he goes for the liquid nitrogen. That he does. And as you so astutely pointed out earlier in this episode, it is just as dangerous to dangerous. carry that. Because as he's going for it, she's fighting still. Yep. And nozzle nicks breaks. the hose. Nicks the hose. It does like slow feedback. Yeah. Flashes on him. Hits the briefcase. Yeah. Engulfs oh. the entire thing. Yeah. Entire briefcase gone. Yeah. Dude loses his right arm. Which is brutal. But he's still calm. Super calm. Super calm. Um, she's having a moment where all of her effort, millions of dollars mm -hmm. here, Destroyed. just flash frozen to, to done. Destroyed. Okay. Um, that's, I mean, red is gone. Like, yeah. You just lost your chance yeah. right there completely. And the sheriff is still freaking after yeah. her. She's dodging bullets still. And that's where it gets worse because when the sheriff catches up, he knows who she is. Absolutely. He sees her. He knows her. Yeah. Calls her by name. Yeah. Says, you stupid girl. Already bad. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking this might have been the, the pickup spot. Yeah. He was supposed to get that money. Yeah. That's what this was for. Because um, we're they? Well, we'll get to that. Right. We'll get to that. So, dude is like, stop yeah. her. Yeah. He's like, your arm. It's clean. I'm fine. Yeah. Still no. calm. Yeah. Still, Still calm. Fine. Your arm just got froze off. Ugh. Broken off and kicked yeah. around on the ground. Um. Sheriff is running after, knows that she's already heard, yeah. following a blood trail, and is like, get back here. Yeah, because he's, he's going he's gonna to try to save her. He's going to try to make it work. Maybe. Some way, shape, or yeah. form. At the very least, save his own behind. Yeah. All of a sudden, boom, headlights. Here comes this speeding semi-truck yeah. coming his way. He just barely dodges yeah. out of the way. I mean, literally almost yeah. run all the way over. Um She's finally starting to feel the effects of that gunshot. Ooh, like she's so been running on adrenaline, running on adrenaline. Hard, and now hard. she's she's got to deal with the fact that this plan is done. Yeah. Everything she needs to do yeah. is over. She's it's, made by the police. It's a wrap. Yeah. She's in a world of, of F. Yeah. Yeah. She's running down her options. 
she thinks this is simple. Uh, obviously, this is, you know, the yeah. money was meant for this this truckload. The yeah. truckload clearly has has drugs in it. Like, obviously. If that, what uh, else could it possibly be? Right. I have an opportunity. Right. I could sell the drugs, get the yeah. money. That could work. Yeah. Uh, bad side is, I don't want to sell drugs. Like, right. That's shiny. Right. I don't want to do that. Um, as she's driving, though, all of a sudden, Thud-thud. there's banging on the back of the truck. What the hell Wait. could be banging? Drugs don't bang. Drugs don't right. knock. Yeah. They typically no. don't. That's not that's yeah. not a thing. And it's consistently happening. Yeah. She opens up the back and finds a people. People. She is immigrants n- sneaking over the border. Yeah. And Burger Boss rappers. So now like did he make that dude? Oh, he made him make 123 and then freaking he- burgers. <laughs> Uh, let's go back. Let's let's go back and, and hear what it says happened at the uh, at the thing. It says how many people died. Let's break it down. Three. It does say three. Um, it appears that just before midnight, two employees and one customer were yeah. killed. He literally made that man make 123 burgers and then killed him. Yeah. He killed him after 123 burgers. Right. That sucks. And you know yeah. who found him? Susie. Yeah. Susie found him. I actually got yeah. off work at the Hojo. Um, so, obviously, Glory has stepped into something uh, huge. Yeah. And there's so many people that are all screwed up because of this. It's going to be... It's crazy. Yeah. Her ex-husband, obviously, is dealing with something. The cops are in on yeah. it. Korea Joe is in on it. Yeah. Like, this is bad. Yeah. And all she wants to do is save Red's life. Yeah, that's it. That's it. The money's gone. I think Red's the money dying. Money's gone. Yeah. Now she's got these people. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. And the Whoa. people. Yeah. It, there's. This was this was a fun read. Uh, very powerful read. Yep. Um, I can't recommended. wait for more issues yeah. of this. Uh, it's different. Giant generator. Is that a is that a studio? I, I, yeah, I think it's like a, like an imprint coming off of the image. Okay. Um, they're winning right now. Yeah. They're definitely winning. Um, this is good. This is. Yeah. Pick this up. I if you know what's it. good for you, if you don't know what's good for you, pick it up. Pick this up. Uh, as always, thank you guys for being our Patreon yes. members. We thoroughly appreciate it. Um, dude, it was a good week. That was a good week. Yeah. This right here makes it a good week. Yes. 